Now then, welcome back to another episode of Agravian Skies 2. How are you? And thank you all for your comments. I went with it. It's taken me a fair amount of time to get it all set up. But I went with it. I went with the um, massive resonant energy cells and tesseracts inlaid into the wall. I did try putting some glass over it as well, but that just didn't seem to look right. Just didn't seem to look right. Uh, I've tweaked around here as well. Look, I've done the wall all the way around, and the water is now using these blue stained covers that I was going to use over uh, over on top of those. But now I'm using them instead on the water section here, just to hold the water in. And I don't really think I need to use four water because it's a self-contained system it plugs itself together so it's kind of uh keeping itself full all the time without me needing to touch it so yeah i'm not really too fussed about the water coming in uh, but it's there as a backup in case for some reason i get rid of all the water and all the steam uh, but the wall now comes all the way around here and we've got a, a ceiling up there as well so we've got this uh good looking little place around here i quite like the look of it i really like the look of it in fact um, I only put stone up here. I couldn't decide what I wanted to put up on the top as a building block. So I just tried stone and just thought, actually, yeah, that, that does the job. It doesn't need to be anything more than just that stone texture. Just looking good enough. And then I've done all the flooring and we've got all the walls in place now and all this is set up. These uh, these took quite a while to create, but I was managing to automate it easy enough, so I just automated the production of everything, and it did it slowly but surely while I was building and doing all the changing the quartz to uh, prismarine and all that kind of stuff. Uh, next, I've just done this little section here, putting the processing of big reactor stuff into um, an area. Now I've got Tesseract, you see, I can beam t power into things so all of these have got power going into them from the tesseract and also i can put items into them as well i haven't really set these up yet though so items would go in that way and out that way so yeah pulverizing yellurium isn't exactly what i was after though is it no so i've got to change these things around a little bit to uh, make this do what it's supposed to do so We'll have no items going in. We'll just have it uh, receiving energy. So I'll we'll have that receiving energy. No items going in. We'll take the Eulurium out. And same with this one. This one should be the same sort of thing. We should have uh, items going in and items going out. And this should be Eulurium dust. So I'll change this one now as well to have uh, energy receiving only. There we go. So the energy is coming in from there. I could have lit, uh, put this cable going through, but it didn't look quite right. I did have that going through. I did have this cable touching into here, and that's why the original positioning of everything is there. But it didn't look quite right, so I decided to put the Tesseract there instead. So this Tesseract, as it's uh, actually connected to that, I could have this Tesseract uh, just not not doing items just doing uh, sending and receiving energy so the energy can go into there and that's another little outlet just to make sure that the tesseracts are always going to be full on that channel uh, and then that powers this and then we have something going in into there now that should change now because I'm not going to put the cyanite in that way I'm going to put the cyanite in a different way or am I I'm not sure. I've got this little section around behind here. Quiet now. Quiet now. Just die quietly, please. I've got this little section around here, which I need to figure out what I'm doing. I'm not sure whether to use applied energistics or something else. I was thinking applied energistics to start with, but now I'm not so sure. I want to input the items from the back, I guess. Like that. So items will go in through the back slot. Uh, applied energistics probably do this nicely for me. Uh, again, we don't want that. We want items going in the back slot now. So items will get stored and put into those like that. And then down at the bottom here, I've got water currently going into the back there. It's a difficult spot to fit into. 
But if I have it coming in from that side still, it only will put cyanite in there. And I can change this to be, instead of big reactor item, uh, I can change that to be uh, cyanite. Or only put cyanite in there in the first place. I don't know. But I am also pumping out yellurium into here through the same system. So I've got to have a little figure out of making sure that all the bits go in the right places. I can just change change the channels and make new Tesseract frequencies for those as well. But first of all, I want to get storage sorted out and get all this section all nice and neat around here. Because it's starting to tie into this area. Uh, I need it so that it can just flow up slightly there so I can cover this over. Maybe make a little entrance way to this bit, just so it's an inside piece. And then send it around. I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure. But we've got a backlog of supplies from things like that going on, which is good. So Eulurium and everything's working. It's kind of a, a big rewire of the big reactors done. And that kind of works okay at the minute. Uh, let's have a look take some cables we'll take uh, some dense cables as well and I'm going to take some import and export buses so we're just going to get some buses what have I got made up import buses okay export buses okay and storage buses let's make 10 I haven't got enough sand okay let's make five start your engines there we go and then I've got a couple of storage buses there that I can add on to it as well. And all I'm really planning on doing, I don't know how I'm going to connect it to the main system at the minute, but the mob farm doesn't really have uh, a lot going on in the, its section. It's got this little section here which brings in items. Uh, it's got this little section here which deletes items. So really I should be able to bring more channels off here and send it over here to do this work as well should be able to we'll see so this is going to be a storage bus on there storage bus on there and i'm also going to have a storage bus down here that's going to store whatever's inside it so that's plutonium in that case and i haven't got a storage space for cyanite uh huh that's got yellurium ingots in it and that's got yellurium dust in it Okay, so then we want to export. So we're going to have an export on there and on there. Okay, I don't like this because I've just sort of slapped a cable on on top of another cable without actually cabling it up the way I intended. So I'm going to do a bit more rewiring to the applied energistic system at some point. But for right now, it just comes up and gives me eight channels in this area, which is ideal. And that's basically getting things going in these areas. I mean, I'm getting all the yellowium dust in there at the minute. Uh, this requires some power. This is also going to require some power. Cyanite there. Uh, yellowium channel. That's what needs power. Okay, so if I come around here and set this one off to yellowium... Set frequency, send only. Then that one's going to fill this up. Very rapid. Very rapid indeed. Okay, so that's that. That's your Lurian power sorted out. Everything should be working smoothly there. It's already started taking from there to put it into there to make that stock up. And I've got the plutonium, and that's just going to keep going. I need power there. Why do I not have power there? Cyanite, send and receive power should be receiving power from here shouldn't it uh why is that not receiving power from there it should be receiving power but it's not receiving power okay okay so connecting it directly there doesn't work is that what we're saying so this is now yellurium so with this one we'll set to cyanite and that can send power to cyanite channel. Okay. That'll work. Uh, yeah. And now that's received power. And it's working through the processing. Okay. 
finally fixed things. So that should be my power issues completely resolved. I've just connected the first two of these Tesseracts, but I've got two, four, six, seven more channels available. Seven more frequencies available. And this should just keep processing all of the Yellurium Big Reactor stuff for me. And that is that for now. Uh, I've still got to design how it's going to mix in with this area. I've got to do something else with this area to make it look tidy again. Uh, at the minute, I like the inside of this big reactor room. But that's as finished as that's going to get. And the outside here then goes... Ugh. I need to do something about this now. I've done the inside of this one. I started figuring out putting sandstone around instead. And that kind of works still, so that's okay. But I also need to think about the levels of the land that's going to be on top of it. Uh, yeah. Should be okay. I built this up here just to give me an idea. I've got plenty of space. And I am going to need something on the top here. A building of some kind on the top here because it's going to be fairly flat up here. So it needs to look right. And then I can step straight down into this area from there as well. Should be all good. Should be all good. Alright, so, let's go and see if we can find someone else to get up to today. Alrighty, there is one flashing quest in the power grid that I've not yet completed. One flashing quest, top tier generation, to make a culinary generator, top tier. Right? Top tier culinary generator, generator from extra utilities, is this thing. Okay? It needs eight of these culinary generators, which I've made because those just needed the eight of those and one of these transfer nodes from a QED. This requires a hyper energy transfer node in the QED, which is four of those energy nodes plus a bedrockium ingot. So it's time to get the bedrockium on. Time to get the bedrockium on. So I've started looking at the cyclic assembler way of making bedrockium. Um, let, let's let's go back one more stage, back back pedal a little bit. Uh, bedrockium, bedrockium ingots require a block of diamond. Is there another message? No, uh, a block of diamond. That's not a problem. I can make tons of those. That's no problem. But the triple and quadruple compressed cobblestone in here requires lots and lots of cobblestone. So I need triple compressed and quadruple compressed cobblestone to make bedrockium ingots. And then from the bedrockium ingots, I can then make the, uh, the QED work for me to make that culinary device. Now, this is quadruple, this is triple. Doesn't feel like a lot, does it? Doesn't feel like it needs a lot of things. I'm going to get one two three let's change that out for a different machine frame because i don't think i need the machine frames half as good oh they're they're resonant ones i don't want the resonant ones i want some basic machine frames next give me a, give me a basic machine frame give me give me gears then gear i can make gears surely tin gears tin gears tin gears tin gears there's tin gears make me a stack of tin gears thank you now Let's try that again. We're making a cyclic assembler like that. There we go. And I want a standard machine frame because the final like process is going to be standard. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a we've got a hardened, a hardened and then a standard. So double compressed, triple compressed, uh quadruple compressed. Actually, I want an, a machine frame that's a uh, Reson ren resonant machine frame. There we go. To start us off, that can pack the first cobble into compressed cobble. Then we can compress that into double compressed. Yeah, double compressed, triple compressed, quadruple compressed. I think that's all right. Compressed, double compressed, triple compressed, quadruple compressed. So as we go down in the number of functions it needs, the speed of it can go down as well. So we start with the fastest I can get. Um, next up then, I want to make the cobblestone in the first place. There's lots of different ways to cobble gen. Uh, there's lots of different ways to cobble gen. I mean, you can even use progressive automation to cobble gen if you really wanted. Um, and then there's the extra utilities ways of cobble gen, which I've been using quite a lot so far in this playthrough. 
Uh, but also, an extruder is pretty good. I've got a basic one there. A basic one there. Let's see, I want it changed into the resonant version. I want the fastest cobble gen possible, so I'm going to go with a resonant uh, machine frames in it. There we go. So how many of those can I get? I can get two. All right, so I need some more copper gears. Okay. Gear, copper, that one. Craft me 50 copper gears. Go for it. I'm going to want lots of these. I like them. <laughs> right, so the igneous extruders and these. We're going to need a Tesseract as well for power. Uh, let's get one of those crafting while we're at it as well. Get some power in. And this is generally going to be a speedy way of creating uh, the cobblestone. And the only use for the cobblestone is to combine the cobblestone to make more cobblestone. So I'll, I'll make a few more bits and pieces. I want to make uh, at least 10, I think, to see how fast that is. At least 10 igneous extruders to start off with. And then I've got a little chain of cyclic assemblers i get some power cables connect things up and then we'll set something very simple up uh i also need buckets of lava so i'll get some buckets of lava as well okay guys i'll be back all right we're getting there just had to make some more hardened glass up because i need some servers servos on the thing here but i've just made enough hopefully let's not end the tanks hardened glass thank you uh, I should have 10 altogether is what I'm after. Yep, that's good. So I've got 10 resonant in, uh, yeah, extruders. Resonant extruders with 10 buckets of lava. And I sort the water out in a bit. Item ducts with 10 servos to take the items out of those. And put them into the cyclic assembler at the start, which is a resonant. Which is then going to combine them into double cobblestone. Then... I've got item ducts here, which actually I need some more for the item ducts there than I. So I need four item ducts there and some form of storage. I could store them in there at the end, I suppose. Yeah. All right. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if this works the way I intend it to. Um, I think I'm going to be doing it over this side. I think I'm probably going to do it around here just for the sake of it. I might as well use this place here. And then any excess cobblestone could also get put into the the crunching down, making sand process and things like that. So, make it nice and easy. Let's start. These all stack. Yes, they do. Jolly good. Thank you. Uh, so, make it nice, easy start. Let's just put them all along in a row. Like so. Uh, I'll maybe fancy this up later. Depends. I want to... I want to make it so it looks cool as well. I always try and make things look cool if I can. So there. Okay. Next up we've got lava in everything. Man, this is going to take a little while. And yeah, that's like that. So that'll get lava in it. And then I just need to get some water in it. Then I turn it to cobblestone. And lava and water make cobble without using up either. So they should be fine. The resident actually has a bigger capacity. Okay, that's cool. And we're going to output the cobblestone up. That'll be the way, right? So let me just fix that up and get all these buckets of lava in the right places. And we'll be back. Okay. So I'm going to do this fairly simply, I hope. Uh, hardened, hardened. Hardened there and that there. Okay. So we've got all of these set ready to export out above and at the minute it doesn't actually use the servos the git <laughs> it's pushed it into the uh, the duct and i didn't need a servo to take it out of the duct and now all of that's arriving there very quickly uh this needs to be receiving from the top everything got spat out i didn't realize these pipes could spit out but anyway there we go so that all goes into there that's filling up pretty fast isn't it i've only just started it and then i want this to exit the final product that way but for first let's get this done so we'll put the schematic in there like that and we'll give it a cobblestone thing like this there we go and done Is that now on there yet yeah, nine cobblestone good good 
Alright, and then we've got to give it a bit of power, so I'll put the Tesseract just there. So this one can receive power output, and we're just going to receive energy only, like that. It doesn't want to be receiving items, set frequency. There we go, That's that one started. That'll very quickly make that compressed cobblestone there, look. Right, and then I'm going to bring the power supply around the back here to all the others. So from there, I'm going to bring it down the back here like that. So that should power all of those up as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's doing fairly swiftly. That's good. Awesome. Okay. And that's already there. And now this schematic, I want to output that way. So this one now, I need to receive from that way and output that way. This one, same again, receive from that way, output that way, and this one, receive from that way, output that way. Uh, even though that's not actually outputting anything anywhere. And then this one, now it's got this compressed stuff, I can put another schematic in there, throw this into here, and show a doubling up of compressed cobblestone, double compressed, set. Yeah, so now the double compressed has gone through. Now this one can be the next one on, which will be triple compressed, like that, set, yeah, so now that's triple compressed cobblestone, and that's coming to here, so the first triple compressed already of four uh, has gone in, uh, and then this one would be the next thing up, but I'm going to leave that one blank for now, I'll leave that in there, but I'm going to leave it blank for now, I'm going to let a little build up happen. Because I only really need like one piece of bedrockium. And I'm probably going to move this around a little bit in the meantime. So this should now be producing pretty fast. It doesn't seem to increase the speed with these augmentations. Uh, without augmentations maybe. So let's see about augment, augmenting the speed of this. I'm going to need some those servos. So let's get a stack of servos because that should be plenty. Right, we're going to need... Ten of those. Uh-huh. Ten. Thank you. We're going to need these ones. We're going to need ten of these. Really, 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 really lots of crafting. Why couldn't I just have all of these things just work quickly first time? Uh, four. There we go. There's ten of each. That, that should speed it up now, according to that, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? That should give me a massive amount of cobblestone coming in. Alright, so we give it one of those. Well, that's just made it a 16 straight away. That one there, that's just made it a 64 straight away. Awesome. Output top. Pating. Do it, do it, do it. And then this one will do the same thing. This one should be one of each of those. I like the way it tells you on here how much you get in per process. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And this one, there, there, there. There we go. Okay, so they're, they're doing pretty fast now. They're doing stacks at a time, which means that there's going to be 10 stacks at a time coming into the cyclic assembler here, which means that this is all going to process very rapidly. I've already got three of the triple compressed. I need nine to get started. The thing I think is going to slow me down now is that this is not exiting fast enough. So if I put that on there and put that to disabled, it's going to move stack size. That's good. But does it make it go faster? It seems to have gone faster, doesn't it? So it's going to make 64 and move 64 straight away. Whereas this one's sort of trying to move 64 at a time. These ones do have a stack size, which is cool as anything there we go so that should increase the amount that comes out of it as well we just disable all these so they just take stacks all the time and that should speed this process up tremendously for me uh i, I remember waiting for akko to uh, do bedrockium on the utopia resurrection and he was messing around with the uh extra utilities stuff now i just saw this and boom just saw this and boom uh, i thought this would be the way forwards really this would be the way to do it the speediest possible um i wasn't so sure on exactly how it's done because i've not done it before but we have figured it out this is what it's all about 
we figure it out. We figure it out. As we go, we figure it out. And there we go. And this one. I keep doing these upgrades. I've only got a few more left. You may as well stick with me just while I finish these off. And then we can have a look to see how many of those triples we've made just by setting this up. Let alone letting it run for a bit. Uh -huh. There we go. I should only really need nine of these. But I've gone with more, haven't I? There we go. So that's that. Everything working. Why it's not showing up exactly right, I don't know. Maybe because those can't transfer items fast enough now. Uh, yeah. Maybe I need a faster pipe. Maybe I need a faster pipe. But that's now racking that up pretty quick, isn't it? Maybe I need a different setup. Like, each one of these pipes goes directly into here. Instead of going along its own little route. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the thing. Maybe a better setup would make this even faster now. But it is throwing the cobblestone in there really fast, isn't it? And we're already up to 13 triple compressed cobblestone. And every nine, uh, every nine is a quadruple, a quadruple compressed. Get off. Uh, every nine is a quadruple compressed cobblestone. And I only need four quadruple compressed cobblestone for a bedrockium ingot. Something like that. Bedrockium ingot. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four quadruple and four triple to make. Just for that one bedrockium ingot. And we've already made enough to make one quadruple. Just while we've been setting it up. I think I can be much more efficient though. Because these cables are like limiting. This has got something in it if it comes from here. So when this sends something it has to travel all the way down the pipe. And then that means this one can't extract from the pipe. So there's, there's other things that I can do to speed that up a bit I think. I think that is. I could potentially put Tesseracs on them all, but that's a bit of overkill, isn't it? Just a little overkill. Uh, what other uh, ducks have we got? Like an impulse ducks, like speed ducks up. Uh, we've got impulse item ducks. Glowstone filled, item travels more rapidly. Is that the best? Warp item duck. Um, uses redstone flux, moves items instantly. Okay, how do we make those? We take item ducts and add endarium ingots but it moves items instantly though <sighs> i may have to do some upgrading guys because endarium is not a problem to me and uh, that could just literally up and zip up and zip and zip the all over there very quickly okay i'm going to do that i'm going to set that up right now Thank you very much for watching another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Hope you enjoy. I'm messing around with finishing quests off in the most dramatic style I can, it seems. Not just finishing quests off, but trying to finish them off in style. Now I've got so much resources, so many materials. I can do things that I, well, are not required in survival. <laughs> almost. It's almost like I'm in creative mode because I can make things so simply because of all the resources. It's coming to that point at the end of a series. It's that point at the end of a series where you have everything you want and you've done almost everything you want to do with a mod pack. But there is still more to come. There is still more Agrarian Skies to do. There are other series on the way. You may have spotted that a Druid Tale has started. Hopefully you're watching that and enjoying that. Um, but they will be uh, staggered with... Agrarian Skies 2 for a little while until something else starts up as well. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next episode. Goodbye.